There's also um, a whole lot of uh, enhancements you can make to the mobile experience with WooThemes Storefront, and here's how you do it with Storefront Pro. Uh, and you'll see if I go to WooCommerce here, I've got my base shop page. So there's there's tons of options in here, but I, want, I just want to show you the mobile option we've got. So we've got this enable suite mobile store styling. If I turn that on, okay, let's go back. This is the default, what we're looking at here. This is the default mobile experience, which is great because these products all work on the mobile. But this will give you a uh, unique mobile experience. So I've just turned this on. And can you see how it creates this lovely grid layout now? And furthermore, the end users have this uh, toggle here where they can switch to a list view. So it's a much more concise uh, way that end users can then view your shop. shop. And it's just done, done by turning on this uh, sweet mobile store styling. I'll just show you that again. So this is the default Woo theme storefront shop. Which you could, your, you know, you can use if you want to, but if you want a, a different experience, you just enable sweet mobile store styling, and you can have this. The beauty of this, in my view, is that you users, you give them more control, so they can just toggle how the um, products are viewed there. So that's how you can change your store layouts. You can also change the mobile um, menu. So let me show you this. If I go back to mobile here, we've got mobile menu. So you can do certain things on here. You can hide your logo on the, if, uh, for mobile if you wanted to. Uh, you can also change this icon color up here, which has got this toggle, where you can just change the color of your uh, icon color and also the background color of this as well. I'll see when I click on that, how that's changed that ghastly yellow that I just made. Um, and you can also change uh, the font colors in here as well. So these are just white at the moment, but let's just change those. Yeah, the font colors changing within those as well. So a whole load of control to change the mobile experience. Uh, we've also got this other option down here, search. So if you want to display search on your mobile menu, you can, or you can just turn it off like so, and you'll see your search is now gone. So loads and loads of controls in the mobile menu. The other thing that we've introduced, which is coming, which is actually new in Wootheme Storefront 2, uh, which is released soon, is this is new down here. Can you see these icons? So this is uh, different icons. This is a My Account icon. These only appear when you're viewing your site on a mobile. Um, so you've got My Account, Search, and the Shopping Basket, which are lovely. But we've given you the ability to um, define these. So for example, you can change the background color down here if you want to. And you see that's just changed the background color. But you can also change the icons, colors, the icon colors within here. Very simply, so I'm just changing them to black, and you'll see they change immediately down here. Um, I have to change it back to white. The other thing that you can do with this is that you can turn these on and off. Because um, this my account one, for example, if you're not allowing customers to register on your site, that you're just using guest checkout, then you might just want to hide that. So literally, you can tick that and you'll see that will hide the My Account and we've just left with this nice search in the shopping basket. Uh, but again, if you wanted to hide the search, you could hide the search, so you're just left with the shopping cart. And you can also hide the shopping cart as well. So full control over the, that new um, fixed footer, which I think is really nice, and um, you'll be able to customize it now.